Well, professional and college sports have a path back to games. What about youth leagues? After three months away, parents, coaches, and kids want to know when they can play ball. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was in Salem this afternoon for an exhibition soccer match on the state capitol lawn that was organized by Let Them Play Oregonians for Athletes. No spring sports and already the last summer. What will the fields and courts of play around the state look like come the fall? Well, an ever-growing Facebook group of nearly 24,000 members right now have let them play Oregon, are out playing that beautiful game safely to ignite the conversation for Governor Kate Brown to make the return of youth sports a priority. It joins people of all walks of life, of all political backgrounds, of all viewpoints are united behind that idea that we want to get these kids playing. It's it's no longer a preference, it's no longer a desire, it's a necessity. Let them play! Banding together at the Capitol, event organizer Julian Cordell made the drive up I-5 with his kids from Eagle Point to push the movement towards a safe return to play for all sports and activities around the state. We wanted to, to show the kids this is the process. Like when you when you really truly believe in something, you put it right where the decision makers are are at. Kids of all ages from Oregon United FC played on the Capitol lawn and are united on wanting to adapt at the times and get back to their outlets of physical and mental health. I feel like, yeah, the youth has been kind of left in the dust. Uh, people are focusing more on, as you said, the pros in college. I feel like it's just as important for us. If they can play, we can play. I mean, we're all out here wearing masks. We're staying safe and everything they can do we can do we put all our life into into this game so it means a lot to us i miss that i just everything everything about my team that i play soccer and stuff this isn't about the games per se it's the engagement um we believe this to be a social mental and emotional health crisis for the kids that are missing out on these opportunities to engage in the things they're passionate about. North Medford High School football coach Jim Bosworth is the Facebook administrator as the Let Them Play Oregon group has grown to nearly 24,000 and 16,000 having signed the petition to Let Them Play. We don't presume to be the highest priority issue that's on the list of things that plans need to be made for, but I want to make sure that we want to make sure that this is getting the proper consideration given what's at risk with proper respectful adherence to general guidelines of being safe given the environment we're not ignoring the environment we're not dismissing the environment we're in we're advocating that the dialogue can continue towards participation with adherence to health guidelines for more information on the movement and to sign the petition head over to their website let them play in front of the state capitol in salem nick krupke Fox 12, Oregon.